front of you for more than four decades of staying true to your mantra. He's used that same guitar on nearly every single track that he's worked on. And I read that a total of a total value of, of the total value, excuse me, the total value of his music has come to about two billion dollars. Like two billion dollars. when it comes to this man's music. But I bet even greater than the number of the people who have danced around to the world to a Nile Rodgers song, who won contests at a club while the freak was playing, who hugged a family member while We Are Family is blasting in the background, or who discovered hip hop through a good time sample, or who jumped around in their bedroom to like a virgin, or less dance, or notorious, Woo! or who felt empowered and even more confident after hearing I'm coming out, I'm coming out. or who had a fun night to get lucky. <laughs> Carl Sagan once said, for small creatures such as we, the vastness is bearable only through love. And that's exactly what Nile and his music has brought to people over the years. Love. From touring with the Sesame Street Roadshow in the early 1970s till now, Nile has dedicated his life to making people happy and expressing love through music. And I just want to say thank you for your tremendous, tremendous genius contribution that's moved and rocked so many generations. For more than 40 years now, you've always been the coolest dude in the room. And I'm honored to present you guys, present you. We're honored to be the whole entire room. To present you with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Award for music, for musical excellence. Sorry, it's such, it's such a mouthful because you've done so much. I, listen, I challenge anybody to read all this man's accomplishments easily. It's just so much that you've done. Congratulations, man, and this award goes to you. Woo! saying to Pharrell, um, almost everybody on this stage, as a matter of fact, almost everybody who's been in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, who's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I've worked with. <laughs> I, I, I started out I was just a little kid on the, on, on the side of my bed, just playing guitar, hoping to get one hit record. Uh, yo, it's three billion dollars now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, they just told me a couple of months ago that I've sold over 300 million albums and 75 million singles. <laughs> wanted to have one hit record. Um, my life has been so amazing 
when I met this gentleman named Bernard Edwards, a bass player who started out as a guitar player who had this interesting style of playing. And he told me about chucking. And he just said, man, you need to change your shit up. You got all this jazz knowledge, but like if you learn how to play this thing, we could like change music. And I was like going, I didn't believe him until this young kid plugged into my amp that was our opening act. And he sounded 10 times better than me, but I knew that harmonically I knew more knowledge. I had more knowledge than he. And all of a sudden I said, Okay, cool. I went and I traded my guitar, my expensive, big, fat jazz guitar, for this little Fender Stratocaster that was like for like a hundred and seventy something bucks. And it was ugly because I hate solid body sunburst guitars. So I adored Hendrix. So I went home and I painted it white myself. <laughs> that same white paint job is the same paint job I did. Like 40 years ago, we were opening it. We were the opening act for the Jackson Five. And, and and from from that journey, from working, from just being a backup guy, I have I have. I'm the boss, but believe me, every record I do, I join the band. I try and make every artist believe that all I have is their best interest at heart. I do not believe, you know, I, I, I remember saying to Madonna, I said to Madonna, when we finish this record, it's gonna say, Madonna, produce my name. <laughs> My name doesn't mean shit, it's gonna be this big. This, this award, which is amazing to me, is really because of all the people that have allowed me to come into their lives and just join their band. Be it Mick Jagger, be it Madonna, be it Bowie, be it the B-52s, be it In Excess, be it Doc Punk, be it Pharrell Williams, be it Diana Ross, be it Sister Sledge. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And I gotta tell you, thank you, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you, New York City. Woo! Thank you so much, Sarah. I love you. You are the, the most generous, kind man I have ever met, brother. You got so much talent. And I'm so proud of everything you do, man. You are the shit. You.